Hi, and welcome back to Pi Simple GUI 2020 lesson two, we'll call this one. And it is on front ends. And uh, let's start by looking at PyCharm here again uh, and the whole grain out of things. So notice that these imports, time and sys, are both grayed out. And that tells me that in this whole program here, neither of those are being used and I could simply delete them. So PyCharm is good at helping you uh, see information. You can also get add-ons. This is an add-on that I, I don't remember what the name, hang on, I'll look it up. It's Code Glance, and it is a duplication of another editor that I'm sure you Python people know what it is. So let's get on here with lesson two. Um, it deals with front ends and pop-ups. Uh, here's another PyCharm thing at work. You see this uh, light tan, zoom right on in here, this light tan thing. This tells me that there are parameters missing. And in this case, I know that it's a message. So like, please enter something uh, and it goes away. Um, so we're gonna use pop-ups in this one. We've already talked about pop-ups here. Uh, what I wanna talk about are front ends the programs. And one thing that GUIs allow you to do is co-op other people's programs and make them something that everybody can use. There are a lot of command line programs out there that do some really cool things, but your buddy down the hall or your friend isn't a, a Python person and they uh, are not super fond of using one of these command prompts and typing Python something. It may not have Python installed on their system. Uh, not everybody's a command line freak, um, but it's an opportunity for you to do something very simple, which is to add a GUI front end on, onto it, and you end up with a whole new thing in a way. So let's take a look at what would be a, a typical-ish command line program. You have, um, this program is going to list the files in a folder, real simple. So um, how many times have you seen this? Path equals some hard-coded path with a comment that says, uh, if you want to do this on a different folder, change this variable. Well, that's great if you're a Python programmer, and it's actually not all that great because now you got to change the guy's source code in order for it to work on your system. Or if you're lucky, they do something with uh, an argument where it's entered on the, the command line. And um, what you can do is both. You can make it so that if there is uh, something on the command line, then use that. If not, get something from the user. So to check that, you would say if the, the length of arg, uh, I'm sorry, sys dot uh, argv is equal to one that that means that it's just the the name of the program that's what will, will that will end up being for rv sub zero so if it's just one you know they haven't entered a uh, a path of some sort so you want to get a path from them and so what you can do is say my path is we're going to use a pop-up in this case it's a pop-up get folder Please enter folder, right? And um, what's wrong with this? Pop up get folder. Uh, and so we will get it if they entered something valid, then it will be a, a truthy thing. If not, then uh, once you pop up like an, an error, pop up error, you didn't, did not enter anything. Okay, and we'll exit. Okay, so uh, so at this point they will have. Uh, well, we can do it else here. My path equals sys dot rv sub one. That means uh, to, that we're going to get it from the command line itself. This should be if not my path. Let's see if not my path. That means they did not enter something. Okay, so let's use PyCharm's terminal down here to, to run it. Uh, I know it's Python, it's YouTube, whatever. 
uh, let's say that uh, I, I want to look at what's in C colon slash. Uh, it printed all the stuff that was in C colon slash, right? Uh, if I ran it and I didn't enter anything, then I get this pop-up. Now I can enter C colon slash right here, or since it's a, a, a git folder, then uh, it will browse, allow me to pick a folder and get the contents of it. Um, so I don't know, we'll just do watches. There should be fine. Uh, it will fill this in and then it prints out uh, it's a bunch of JPEGs of watches in this case. The, um, so that, that, that gives um, the user an option of entering it from the command line if that's what they're into or you can uh, do a pop-up and get the folder uh, l let's say that though that in instead of working with the the command line to launch this thing they're going to double click the icon and not see any console at all that means this print now won't go anywhere useful so let's make it do a pop-up and there's a couple of interesting ones one is a scrolled pop-up and what that will do is um you'll see let, let's just run it here we'll enter c colon slash and it does a pop-up with a, a scrolled output and this will allow you to copy and paste from it it's 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 a really handy kind of pop-up to use um, a, another thing you could do is a print with a capital p uh, and i'm going to have to do a pop-up afterwards um, because it will close the program what print does is print to the debug output so let's run this again let's do c colon again and um here it did uh, the print out to a, what's called a debug window. And that's what the capital print does. And um, it's, it's meant more for a, a debug than it is for user interaction. I would use um, a, a pop-up scrolled for user interaction. Um, and one little bit of code here that I had added that we did not try is this pop-up error. So let's say they ran the program there's uh, enter a folder um, and um, they didn't enter a folder and by hitting either cancel or the x let's do cancel and it does a pop-up error and all, all the pop-up error is is just a normal pop-up but it puts a red error button instead of an okay button so sort of in summary here this program, the main part of the program, which is that does all the work, the, the listing, the folder and, and printing it, you can change this back to a print. The, that part of the, the stuff didn't change. The only thing that we changed was instead of using a hard coded path, we added just a little bit of code here to get the information from the user in a GUI like format and then continued on. And, and that's what I mean about being able to kind of transform somebody else's code really easily. You've added a GUI, but it required very little effort. It required just a couple of lines of code. Uh, and you, you can con continue to use the rest of their code just, just like it is. And it opens the audience up from uh, command line people to ordinary people, so to speak. Uh, you can turn it into an EXE and give it away to anybody once you add this kind of GUI to it. Okay, so that's the end of lesson two. Thanks for watching.